YouTube and Canva, you all need to be using YouTube. Here's why. As you can see, based on data, YouTube is now the number one platform being used by everyone, all generations. And you know what? It kind of looks like Instagram. Well, maybe it doesn't look like Instagram, but you can post like on Instagram and you can create 60 second or less videos. Eventually it'll be two minutes. I think coming soon, coming soon. Some of you might already have it. So if you're using Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook reels, integrate YouTube today. So I'm going to give you the basics. I already have some pre-created posts that I can post on YouTube right now. And I'm going to show you how you're, you can do the same thing. Okay. Let's go to my YouTube page and we're going to use Canva. Now, let me just give you the basics. So when you are in YouTube, now, first of all, you're going to want to log into YouTube from your mobile device. You might have more than one platform. So we're going to go to the platform that I typically use. And notice in the bottom right-hand corner, I clicked on my image and this takes you to my channel. Now we'll come back and I'll cover all of this. I just want you to start using YouTube today. So eventually we'll talk about my entire screen, but until then, here's what I want all of you to do. I want you to click this plus sign and then I want you to see that we can create a video or down in the bottom left-hand corner, we, so first of all, you can create a short. Shorts as of today are 60 seconds, 60 seconds or shorter. Video, typically long form video. So I would go with the horizontal video and then you can go live. I'm not going live. And then you can create a post. The two we're gonna use today are, we're gonna create a post and we're going to upload a short video. So this is what we'll do first is I'm going to go over to shorts and we're going to upload something I already have. Might as well upload something funny, right? So in the bottom left-hand corner, this is where you can add content that's already saved on your mobile device, or you can simply click record, or you can head over to your drafts. You can also over to your right, switch the camera. You can set a timer so you can record. You can speed up the video. You can add a filter. Might be appropriate for me today and... Uh, notice when I actually click this drop down arrow, you get exactly what is available. So for those of you that need words, you can put up a green screen so you can put that data behind you. You can, uh, again, retouch your content. You can make, it, uh, make yourself brighter. You can see the comments or you can comment. We're just going to simply upload a video. Bottom left. So down here. And let's see. Oh, we'll add the one because my husband decided he was gonna go to the store without me. Here we go. I might as well let you hear, hear what he's saying, right? So this one, then we'll click. Yeah, I'll be right back. Uh-uh. What? -uh. I'm going. Oh, oh be careful. I'm going with you for real. I'm going with you for real. You're not leaving me. So I click done. I gotta get my purse. Okay, go get it. I'll be right here. Here, I'll be right back. Still thinking, uh -huh. still uploading. Wow. I'm going. And so now it's available. So in the bottom right hand corner, click on this check mark. Here, I'll be right and back. then you can either. Uh huh. Wow. I'm going. Oh, be careful. So you can add more sound. Um, you can add more content. You can change the filters. I'm just going to click next. And once you choose next, now so far, you're going to only add a title. You can go back to youtube.com and you can edit the video. You can add more context. We're just going to caption the short, the short video at the top. And I'll just say, no, I'm going to the store with you and then I'll put in just a simple hashtag hashtag the carry and mark show for anyone that follows my hashtag I could also put in maybe funny 
couples. And then I'm done. Now, before I make the post, here's some other things you should know. Top left, I can edit where the video, where it's going to actually, what, what you see when someone is swiping through or scrolling through YouTube. I kind of like, let's see, kind of like this one, I think. And then we'll click public, location, select the audience, which is everyone. And then I will choose upload short. So uploading my short, I'm done. I now have shorts. Now, just really quickly in the bottom right-hand corner, if you click on, so I clicked on my image. So at the top of the screen, this is where you can view my channel. Now, if I do view the channel, this is also where you can see my shorts. So if I wanted to just double check to make sure the short was uploaded, it's still thinking, this is where you want to be. So we'll let this load in the background. Hope it's available. So there it is. So video is here. You can also see any of the other shorts that I've created. So now let's actually upload some content. So I already created some content for the holidays. So we're going to go over to Canva. And this is the community page. This is almost like using Instagram or Facebook. So I have one, Happy Thanksgiving. So we'll go with this one. I'll download it. Boom. Download. And then once I click download, you can see that I actually have two images here. So we'll click download. So I think we're good. And so now let's hop back over to YouTube. So now we're going to post to the feed or also known as community on YouTube. So at the bottom of the screen, click the plus sign. And so we've already downloaded our images from Canva. And you can choose to add more than one image. So I'll click select multiples. Actually, I'll just choose the one and then we'll do, no, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me go back. We're going to click. We're not uploading a short. We're uploading a post. Bottom of the screen. So we'll click this image. Happy Thanksgiving. And you can select up to five images. So I'm going to add, let's add the other one. Might as well. Let's see what it looks like. I typically only add one. So we'll go with this one and this one next. Then we'll choose next again. And I will simply say, what is my, got to change my language. Okay. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving from Carrie and Mark. Like how I changed my name. I was questioning if it knew how to spell my name. Oh. So we will put in hashtag Caremark Realty. And again, you can always upload your hashtags to Evernote or to your notes on your mobile device. Depends on how, how hard you want to work. Florida. Hashtag Illinois. Hashtag in my case, designated managing broker. Probably not used often on YouTube. All right, so I'm done. We'll just simply make a post and boom, we are done. We've made a post. So how do you go see these? Um, just to make sure we've um, uploaded our reel or in this case, YouTube short or your post, go to view channel at the top. And then you can see your shorts. And if you swipe over here, you can see community. So if you click community, there's my post. Happy Thanksgiving. And if I go back to shorts, you can see all of the shorts I've created. No views yet on the one with Mark. So that's a really quick, easy way to start creating content over on YouTube. Again, you can repurpose the videos that you're about to post on TikTok.
Instagram Reels or Facebook Reels. Leverage YouTube today. Why? Because it is searchable on Google and there are so many people watching YouTube of all of the, the generations, well over 80%. So I'm Carrie Little, the designated managing broker of Caremark Realty Group. Thank you for watching. Make sure you follow me over on Instagram and over on TikTok. And please, please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you want to learn more about artificial intelligence, please make sure you watch this playlist today.